I'm Caitlin Newman. And I'm Kristen Willis. Welcome to this week's episode of What's Trending, your weekly update on the latest social media trends. This week, we want to talk to you about how governments around the world view social media. Recently, the Turkey Prime Minister Erdogan banned Twitter and YouTube in an effort to stop rumors of government corruption, which began to leak on the internet in February. On March 20th, Erdogan issued a court order to disable Twitter in Turkey. Then, the government hijacked the net addresses belonging to Google, Level 3, and OpenDNS in order to deny the Turkish people access to Twitter and YouTube. Erdogan also announced, we'll eradicate Twitter. I don't care what international community says. Everyone will witness the power of the Turkish Republic. This did not go over well with the Turkish citizens, considering 45% of them use the internet and about 16% use Twitter. Citizens were outraged. The hashtag, Twitter is blocked in Turkey, became a trending topic almost immediately after the ban started, and more than half a million tweets were sent during the first 10 hours of the ban, says the tracking site TwitTurk. Most of these tweets were from the Turkish people, though. Censorship is so common that many residents use virtual private networks or a service such as Tor to get around the ban. Twitter also offered a way to get around the ban. It tweeted the nine of the ban, Turkish users. You can send tweets using text messages. Avia and Vodafone text start to 2444. Turkcell text start to 2555. The Turkish government made no moves to close this loophole, and the population used this as a way to communicate throughout the ban. According to the Washington Post, the ban was lifted on April 3rd after the country's highest court ruled the ban a violation of freedom that must be restored. However, this ban does raise the question whether governments truly have the power to take away social media, and this isn't the first time this has happened in the world. Exactly. Libya, Venezuela, and Pakistan have all restricted social media at some point. However, China is the most notorious for blocking social networks. News outlets have nicknamed the Chinese efforts of blocking social media sites, the Great Firewall, as a pun of the Great Wall of China. Ha, <laughs> that's catchy. The major sites blocked in certain countries such as Facebook, Twitter, Foursquare, and YouTube have not responded to these bans, except for Twitter allowing the Turkish to text their tweets. Although Twitter still has no official business model, they released a mission statement similar to Facebook's recently. Both statements express their company's desire to connect people around the world instantly. With the endless possibilities on social media sites for brands and individuals, it's no wonder this has started such a controversy. Well, that's all we have for you today. I'm Kristen Willis. And I'm Caitlin Newman. Thanks for watching What's Trending. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. What's Trending is produced through the Outpost and the College of Media and Communication at Texas Tech University.